If anyone asks, you didn't hear this from me, but there's also a Birkin 25 rock launching with the exact same details, but in a mini size. Hello my friends, it's been a little while so today I'm back with a what's new from Hermes update discussing the latest and greatest Hermes bags and accessories launching hopefully in the near future and today we have a lot to go through, we have a new HAC to discuss, some new pieces with a so black finish that are out now as well as a bag that is launching in a touch version but a touch version that we haven't seen before so if you'd like to hear my thoughts on all of these and more then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching let me start this video with an apology in case the lighting is off or if it's a little weird at one point today i apologize but i'm filming quite late in the afternoon with the sun pretty much setting because they are still doing construction next door so i only have this short window to film with as much natural light as possible so if you notice the lighting being a little bit all over the place i apologize but anyway let's get into talking about today's pieces because we have a lot to go through and i wanted to start with a new line of Hermes classics that are now available with a soul black finish which it's about time that they finally launched because i think we first talked about this collection about two years ago if I'm not mistaken which just shows that Hermes marches to the beat of their own drum they don't care about seasons they don't care about launch dates they launch pieces whenever they want to even if they are two years behind but I wanted to share with you this new collection which is the line of burn wallets that you can now find with a soul black finish in case you are new to Hermes and you were not aware, Hermes launched a small but mighty collection back in 2010 which was so iconic that brands to this day are trying to copy it which was their So Black collection which meant that each and every single piece in this line was in the color black which you probably would have expected but it wasn't only the body of the pieces but each and every single detail was in black including the hardware and even the outer packaging the box and the tissue paper they came with and it was quite a short-lived collection not only because it was supposed to be limited but also because rumor has it that Hermes couldn't quite perfect the coating of the hardware and it kept chipping so that collection wasn't around for long it came and it was gone before you could say so black and we have been hearing rumors that at one point we'll see the revival of this collection but it seems like that the time is now because we're getting a full-blown burn collection with the so black finish which i have to admit does make me really happy because i am a fan of the burn wallets i feel like if you're looking for more traditional wallets that fit a ton yet don't take up too much space you cannot go wrong with any one of the burn wallets they come in edpd mini sizes they have a mini card holder a mini wallet the only difference is that the wallet comes with a built-in pocket on the inside whereas the card holder really just focuses on holding cards as the name suggests there is the compact wallet and then if you prefer more traditional larger wallets that fit the kitchen sink and more they also have a long wallet for you every single one of which should be coming with a so black finish in Epsom so if you've always loved the idea of the burnt wallet but you wanted it in a more contemporary finish this is your chance to add it to your collection and one more piece that I wanted to bring to your attention which I know is going to be incredibly popular is the be happy bracelet that is now out with a so black touch moving on we have a new take on the iconic HAC the ancestor of some of our favorite bags the Birkin and the Kelly which I have to admit is usually not a bag that I'm a fan of just because I don't like the proportions of the HAC which I have done a dedicated video comparing the Birkin 
and the HAC. And if I can find it, I'll make sure to link it up here. But long story short, the HAC is much taller and narrower than the Birkin, and it also features shorter handles. So all around, I just find the design quite outdated and difficult to pull off unless you're really tall. At one point it did come in different sizes, but these days you'll more often than not see it in larger sizes, so 40s and 50s, which makes it quite a popular bag for traveling. Even though it's not the most practical, it does sound like a chic bag to travel with, but in reality, it's quite a heavy bag to lug around. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the user experience of the HAC, but to discuss the latest reiteration of it, which is the so-called HAC Rock, which I have to admit is by far my favorite take on the HAC that I have ever seen. And yes, Hermes plays around with the HAC almost every season. They launch it in a fun new colorway or in a fun new material or finish. But this time they really took it to the next level because they almost completely updated this bag. So on the front, they gave it a saddle shaped pocket, which of course pays homage to the brand's equestrian heritage. Then you get a little pocket on the front with the cutest snap closure, as well as my favorite detail, which is the Shantong chain that functions as a keychain, which is just the cherry on top. I never understood why Hermes doesn't have either a shoulder strap or a back charm inspired by the Shantong. And I'm hoping that this is a sign that we'll see more and more bag accessories with the Shandong detail. But on the HAC, I have to admit, it looks phenomenal. This is a jaw dropping piece. Even for me, who is not a fan of the HAC, this is truly special. And it definitely has a really cool 90s rock and roll feel to it. But let's say you're not a fan of the HAC, or even if you are, but you don't feel like it's a bag that you would be able to take advantage of. If anyone asks, you didn't hear this from me, but there's also a Birkin 25 rock launching with the exact same details, but in a mini size really, really soon. But this next bag that I wanted to talk about is also inspired by the iconic HAC. It borrows the hardware of the HAC, which this is one thing that I didn't mention earlier when I talked about the main differences between the Birkin and the HAC. But the hardware on the HAC is going to be much more robust bust and heavy duty than it is on the Birkin and on the Kelly. On those bags, the hardware is definitely a lot more refined, whereas on the HAC, it looks and feels more utilitarian. And this piece borrows that, which is going to be a new phone case or a mini bag, depending on what you're going to use it for, which has the HAC closure on it. Now, I personally wouldn't use this as a dedicated phone case, Personally, I'd much rather carry my phone in my hands and would use a bag like this to carry a card holder, a lip balm, maybe even my AirPods if they would fit. But if you wanted to, you could definitely use this as a phone case too, or as a mini bag. And to me, it seems that this is almost a more masculine, robust take on an accessory that Hermes was supposed to launch for women a couple of seasons ago, which should be out any day now. Although with Hermes, you can never know, but it's kind of a similar idea that it fits all your daily essentials, but nothing more and nothing less. And I love this hard shell case, as well as the HAC mechanism, which if you ask me, has never looked this good. And last but not least, I wanted to talk to you about the latest take on the Kelly Depeche pouch, which is not a new bag. It's been out for a few years now. And even I toyed with the idea of picking up this piece. I never did, but if this piece that we're going to talk about now ends up being what it seems to be, I might have to give it another try because it has to be one of the most unique bags I've seen in quite a few years because it's a Kelly Depeche bag, but it borrows inspiration from different already existing lines from Hermes, starting with the latest Color Medic Birkin and Kelly bags, which I talked about recently. And then it also borrows inspiration from the Hermes Touch collection, and it combines these all 
in the shape of the Kelly Depeche because this seems to be a Kelly Depeche pouch bag that features a front pocket that is made of a touch of exotic skin and I have to say that this might be the most tastefully done touch piece that I have ever seen. So far I have only seen the Kelly Depeche with this detail but I'm really hoping that Hermes doesn't stop here and we'll see perhaps some other Kelly bags or maybe even a Birkin with this exotic front pocket which I feel like is just the perfect balance of adding a touch of exotic to a classic bag without going overboard or underwhelming you and because it's in the same color as the bag itself it doesn't end up looking like a joke or a mistake like it does in my opinion on the new Colormatic launches but it just seems like a cohesive incredibly well thought out and well designed piece which is definitely something that I will be dreaming about. And my friends, this completes today's What's New from Hermes update. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And do let me know in the comment section which piece you're most excited for. Are there any pieces in this new lineup that stood out to you? I cannot wait to hear your review and your thoughts. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon. But for now, bye.